yoga Pilates tune-up class, there's the culprit that uh, he shouldn't be on my mat and that's what gives me allergies. So if you ever see me sneezing or anything like that, uh, that guy is the culprit. So today what we're going to be doing is warming up uh, gently and we are going to be doing a Pilates yoga tune-up class. I'm not going to do the rolling today because we only have 30 minutes, but roll out your hamstrings, your outer thighs, any tension in your back, make sure you roll that out. And uh, today we're going to be doing our standing forward bend and the roll-ups. We're going to break down the roll-ups. So we'll begin right now sitting comfortably. You can sit up on a uh, block. Oh, I forgot to mention, you're going to use a stick today. And so a broom works great. You just undo the broom portion and set that aside. And you'll have a stick that will work perfectly, um, a chair or a bench, and a strap and a block if you have it. Otherwise, just do your best. You can follow along without all those uh, tools. So to start with, you're going to grab your thighs, take a deep breath in, exhale, round your spine back into flexion. So from this side, it's going to be into a C-shaped curve stretching out your back. And then you're gonna grab your shins, pull yourself up, and extend your spine, sliding your shoulder blades down your back. Round your back again. <sighs> Stretch. Coming up, lifting up, pull on your shins, pull your shoulder blades down, and extending the spine. So that's extension of your back, flexion of your spine, legs parallel, grab your thighs, round out and hold. And again, lifting up, exhale, up, lift your chest. Inhale, exhale, change. Inhale to prep, coming up on your sit bones, roll it up. Exhale, lift your chest, sliding your shoulder blades down your back. So we're trying to mobilize the thoracic spine a little bit. So we're gonna continue doing that mobilization of your ribs side to side. It's called translation of your ribs. So we're not side bending. Okay, that's lateral flexion. It's like those old typewriters. You shift one way, shift the other way. Keep your ribs in, reach your arms out, shift. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Keep breathing. Try to reach each time a little further. You'll feel a little stretches wherever you're tight. Drop the shoulders. Good. Now side bend to the right. Bring your arm up and bend your spine over an imaginary barrel. Maintain, reach, and recover. Other side over to your left. Reach. Keep your arm back, lengthen, and recover. Repeat again, all the way over. Let your neck go as well. You're gonna reach, reach, lengthen, and recover. Other side, gentle. You're just warming up, opening up the joints between your vertebra. Those are called facet joints, so we wanna mobilize those. So we're gonna add some with the side bends. So you're gonna go over to your side, and now you're gonna turn your body, stretch out your back. Come back, other side, side bend, and then rotate. So positive torsion, flexing your spine and rotating. And other side again, up and rotate. <sighs> Breathe into those back lungs, and again, over to the side and rotate. <sighs> we'll do that with extension now. So again, side bend over. Now lift your chest up and rotate towards the sky. This is called negative torsion. You're adding some extension in the rotation. Coming back, other side, over. Arm is up by your ear, so your bicep is not falling in front of your face. Turn your body up. And other side, keep breathing. Side bend and add rotation up. Extension of the spine, lift the chest. And other side, across. And open up. So you'll start to feel where your tension is, if it's in the front or the back or in the sides of your ribs there. So from here, we're going to come onto our hands and knees on your uh, all fours, and you're going to do your happy puppy, I like to call it, cat, 
and the cat and cow position in yoga. Round sad puppy. Arch, inhale. Shoulder blades down. Exhale, curl. Hollow out those abs. You can come right up on your tippy fingers. Come back down. Inhale, arch. And exhale, you curl. Inhale, stick your tailbone out. Tuck those toes under and sit back for a second, stretching out the bottom of your foot. Keep breathing. If your bottom of your foot is tight, the plantar fascia is tight, it's hard for you to do your forward bends because that connects right into your calf, up into your hamstrings. So you really want to release and stretch the fascia of your foot so you can roll on a ball. That feels really good. And then release down and let's stretch out the shin and stretch out into your back. Deep breathe. Release your neck. One more inhale. And full exhale. Nicely done. You're going to round up, tuck your toes under, and let's come up to standing. If you can grab your um, pole now, what we're going to be doing is placing the pole down and working on a bit of our hinge series. So from the side, a hinge is a flat back. So if you had the imaginary stick behind your back, you have three points of contact, the back of your head, your rib cage and your bottom of your hips, your sacrum. So you're not trying to flatten your back like in an Eldoa yet, right? So we're going to keep our natural curves and when we bend the knees, we hinge maintaining that flat line. So it's really handy if you use the stick to guide you. Then once you have that, place the stick down. It, it would be great if it was a little higher. So that's when the um, bench comes in or a chair. Since I'm fairly tall, I can make my stick longer by just having it up on the um, elevated surface. So abs engaged, right hand is on top or the hand that's closest to the video. Bend your knees. You're going to gently keep your mind, your body up against an imaginary stick and hinge forward and stretch. Back is flat. Breathe. Shoulder blades pulling down, pressing the stick down, about 30% tension. Deep breathe. Coming back up, straight spine, left hand on top. Uh, the, uh, whatever hand is not, hasn't been on top, switch. Grow tall, bend the knees, sit your sit bones backwards and hinge. Breathe. Gonna feel the shoulders under the armpits, stretch, abs engage, working on that flat line, you're not hanging your head. Shoulder blades pull down, press into that floor, and all the way up. Good. Come into sitting. We're gonna have our stick in front. So if there was a clock here, you're at 12 o'clock. Right, the back knee here is bent, the front leg towards the camera, or the video is straight. Again, so straight back. Use your stick as a reference. Once you have your straight line, the right hand, the outside, the, the hand that's at the back is on top. Left leg is straight. So I'm gonna go using my left and right now. So left leg is straight, right hand is on top. Hinge forward, flat back. Flex the ankle, hinge gently and stay here. Push down into the floor, 30% effort into the stick. And then press your heel down into the floor, like you're trying to drag your foot in, but obviously your heel's not going to move. Gentle. Press down, hold, and breathe. Rotate your leg out. Keep the ankle flex. Rotate your leg in. Use your hands. Hold the stick nice and firm. Rotate out. And rotate in. Release. Ease off a little bit, relax. We're gonna repeat that again. Point your foot, flex, lift your spine long, tip forward from your pelvis, right from your hips, like you've practiced when you were standing, hinge forward. Okay, hold it here, breathe, press down. Push your foot, heel down. 30% tension is plenty. Rotate the leg out, flex. You should feel that hamstring working and rotate in. That's it, again. A couple more times, rotate, and stay here, deep 
deepen it and release. Let's do that on the other side. I'm just going to turn around so you can see me in the mirror. So we're going to move. You don't have to just switch legs. So now it's the opposite leg long. Again, it's always my front, the leg that's in front towards the camera. The other knee is bent. Your stick is at 12 o'clock. Okay, so if your right leg is straight like mine, your left hand is on top. Press the stick down and then hinge forward. See right at the edge of your chair, so hinge forward, flat back, press down, push the heel down gently, not from your knee, from your hamstring, rotate, breathe, rotate in. Rotate out. Which part of your hamstring is tighter? So you're trying to find out where your tension is. You have a lot, three different hamstrings. You've got to do both. Rotation, parallel, turned in. Release, ease off for a second. Relax. Grow tall, engage those abs. Hinge, pressing down. Hinge forward from the pelvis. Lean forward, not a round back. And ripple up into a nice long flat back. Press down, push the heel into the floor, breathe, rotate out, rotate in, rotate out, and rotate in, pressing that heel down, push down into the stick, and coming back to center. Good job, you guys. Come up to standing, place that little stick off to the side, and we'll move the block out of the way or the bench. So in your forward bend, you're going to be hinging from your hip. So what I want you to practice right now is lifting your thigh up. Okay. So from the side, again, I'm not rounding my back. I'm lifting the thigh right clean, right from the hip. So it's a hip flexor action. Okay. So lifting up one, you can touch your back two, three, Four. Other side. Abs engage. We lift. Up. Two. Three. Four. Now, if you have balance, you're worried about your balance, you come to a wall. Otherwise, you do that same thing, but you're going to grab your leg. So lift your left leg up. Take, grab hold of the shin and pull the thigh in. Balance shoulder blades down. Abs engage. For five. Hold. Four, three, two, one. That's my easy side to balance. So let's try my harder side. A little bit of a break in my shin here when I was younger. So there's a bit of torque. Press up. No excuses. You still have to practice. Tighten up here. And pull in. Two, three, four, five, and release. Good. Just swiggle it out, releasing any tension. Another thing that will stop you from going into your standing forward bend is your calf. So we're going to put our foot, the foot closest to the camera or the video, to the side of your mat so it's parallel. Use that as a reference or use your stick. Okay, so make sure your whole outside of your foot is lined up nicely with the stick and bring the other foot forward. We're going to bend the forward knee, lock your back heel down. Bend your back knee, so I'm bending the back knee and straightening the front, hold. Reverse, front knee bent, back leg straight. So say you did a 30 minute cardio or HIIT workout with Carlton online videos, this would be a great class after to just loosen up and relax. Or you could do it before so your body is warmed up and there's no tension in the body and it's ready for movement. So you can play around with what works better for you. Hold the back, the front knee bent, back leg is straight. Breathe. Lift your heel up, bend both knees, curl your tailbone under, abs engage and try to pull your thigh back. Touch your lower back and make sure it feels flat. Feel the stretch here in the front of your thigh. Release. You bend. Curl the tailbone around and press the thigh back. Feel that stretch and breathe. 
Abs engage. And release. Let's do that whole thing on the other side. Line your foot up with the stick and bring the other foot forward. From here, we're going to stay with the front knee bent. And back knee bends. You may have more bending in your knee than I do, so go for it. Then straighten that back leg. Bend the front knee. And one more time, bend your back knee, straighten your front. Don't forget to breathe, you guys. It's really important the whole time that you're monitoring yourself, self-regulating, and making sure you're getting that breath in. Lift your back heel up, bend both knees, curl that tailbone right under like a sad, sad puppy. Hold your abs in and pull your thigh bone behind. You feel the stretch in the front of your hip for five, four, Three, two, one, release. Bend both knees. Scoop that belly in, pull up on those low abs and maintain. Try to pull the thigh behind you for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Nicely done. So we're gonna go ahead and try the forward bend. We'll start by coming towards a wall. Okay, so you're gonna slowly walk down the wall. So your hands are on a wall. Walk your feet back a bit. As you walk down your wall, get your flat back as much as you can, stretching out the armpit. Breathe here. Bend your knees for a second, tip your tailbone up. And then try to get further down slowly Lifting your tailbone up, not rounding your back. Okay, so you keep going, walking down. Maybe using a block here or that chair if you need it. Good, breathe. Lean forward onto the ball of your foot so we're not hanging back. Walk forward slowly, tuck your chin in. Keep going, keep that, that hinge at your hips. Lay your back onto the wall. Breathe. Stay there if you feel safe. Lean into the wall and grab your elbows and hold. Good. And walking back if you need to or just bend your knees and slowly roll up. So be careful of that because it is pretty intense. I felt that mostly in my calves, so that's a sign to myself that I need to do more release work for my calves. So again, all these things that we do, we're exploring our body. So this class isn't necessarily a flow class. We're going to stop and try different things and then see if the uh, end result is a little bit better. So the next thing we're going to be working on is the Pilates roll-up. Luckily, we've already stretched the hamstring, so that's good. But we need to warm up the abdominal wall. Okay, so what we're going to start with, I hope you guys can see me, lie down on your back. Take a break for a second. Relax your neck. Pull your thighs into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Rock side to side. Releasing any tension in that spine. Good, and place one foot down and then the other. Take your knees over to one side, allow the spine to twist, releasing your back. So I'm not using my back, I'm gonna pull back with my oblique muscles. The back muscles stay relaxed here. You can actually palpate them and see if they're feeling firm. See if you can really tell them to release. They're nice and soft. And pulling back. Other side. And coming back to center. <sighs> Grab your hands over your shins. Press your shins forward. Literally push your legs away from your core so you're rounding your upper back and you're getting a nice stretch between the shoulder blades, right where your rhomboids and mid traps are. The muscles that pinch your shoulder blades together, you want them to be all stretched and open up. So just gently rock. You can do a little rolling action if you want to help release the tension on the spine. 
breathe. We're going to start with the low abs first. So the first thing we want to do is remember that to curl your tailbone through your leg, you could squeeze your butt. Okay, you could do a butt exercise, which will tuck the tailbone. But we want to do it from the abs. So it starts, the abdominal wall starts right down at your pubic bone and works its way up to your ribs. So I want you to think about pulling your abs in to create that action. I'm just going to move my arms out of the way so you can see. I'm going to exhale, use my abdominal muscles to pull in and pull around. My glutes aren't working. If I added my glutes, it would look like this. A different, different type of action. So that is the action you're going to be doing, but you're going to be holding your knees. Okay, so the thighs are perpendicular to the floor. On your exhale, contract with those low abs, creating that little pelvic curl, posterior pelvic tilt. Slight release. I'm not letting go completely. So you can use your abs a different variety of tension. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, contract at 50% tension. Hold. Slightly release to about 20% tension in the abs. Stay here. Breathe in. Exhale, contract 60%. Release slightly. Inhale, stay. Exhale, contract a little deeper. 70% effort. Pull those abs in. And slight release. Inhale. Exhale, you contract, deepen it now, hold. Keep contracting, pull those abs in for five, four, three, pull in, two, one, and release. Sorry, it's a bit hot here in my uh, home studio. Just relax, breathe in your belly. You can pretend that you're pregnant with little kittens, so poof your belly out. Exhale, let it drop. Relax your shoulders, deep breath in, exhale. So those are your low abs and your transverse abs we're pulling in. The next set of abs we're going to work on are upper abs. So right in the top part here, we're going to take the hands behind the head. You can have your knees bent here to get your lower back to relax. Touch where your ribs meet. That is where you're going to contract from. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw those ribs down. So much so that it pulls your body slightly up. So I want you to start really small. Rather than pulling from your hand and you're lifting up and cranking up your neck. Okay, so let's try that again. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw the ribs down and feel the contraction of the abs pulling you up and down. Again, exhale, you pull the ribs down. Pull those rib cage, anchor it down, pulling up. It's like this is the spot that's reeling you up, okay? So your head is like the fish, and this is the fishing rod here where you roll it up to pull yourself up into that upper curve. Okay, so let's give it a try again. Inhale. Exhale, draw down. Contract up. And let's pause here and do little pulses. Pulse up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and just breathe into those ribs. Exhale fully. Relax your neck. One more deep breath. Good job, everyone. Exhale. Or I guess in this case, good job for you. Is it probably just you? Or maybe it's your whole family doing it with me, which would be awesome. So from here, the mid abs I find obviously the hardest. It's kind of what we call the bitter swallow. It's like the hardest part to get up through gravity. So you start by holding your thighs. You lift your spine up, inhale. Exhale, you curl into those low abs and you start to roll back and you're gonna start to feel gravity pulling you down. And that's the place you're gonna wanna stay in. You can use your arms and your biceps to help. 
So for, from here, I'm going to roll back. Try to keep that place where gravity's really working on pushing you down. And in that position, I'm going to pulse up. Small. Two. Three. Bending right in that mid-range. Keep going. And again, let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. So I'm not in my upper curve. I'm a little higher than my upper curve. You can use your arms to help. And then hold that contraction, try to re hold that contraction, really try to round out that tight spot in your back and release. Whew. Deep breathe. Relax your belly. So before we do the full roll up, let's lie on our stomach and just stretch out our abs for a second. So you're on your belly. Relax, wiggle out any tension. And take a deep breath, tip of the nose on the mat. Exhale, pull out long shoulders away from your ears, arcing up halfway. You can just pause here with your elbows down or go all the way up, stretch out your belly. Exhale to come back down. Stay here breathing. Exhale, lengthen long. Arc your upper back first. Mid back, low back. The abs are going to get a nice stretch here. And release down. Again, inhale. Long reach out. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. Arc upwards. Squeezing your glutes. Stretch. You're going to let yourself sink into your shoulders. And gently rotate. You can look behind you, gentle. Keep it small range if it hurts, you guys. Do not try too hard. Pause here. Pull the shoulder blades down. Lift your chest and roll it back down. One more time, you guys. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, lengthen long. Arcing upwards, feel the upper back, mid back. All the way up, shoulders away from your ears. Pause, breathe in. And exhale to come down. Sit back into your child's pose and let's stretch out our back. So instead of the long child's pose, let's bend the elbows. Round your back. So you're stretching out your back. If you release your back and round it and stretch, it's going to feel easier to do your roll up. I'm walking off to the side here, stretching out that QL, the side of my back. Breathing into those ribs over to the other side. Especially if you're a flat back person, you're going to want to really get into this round shape so you're stretching out all the tension in your spine. Okay, so now we've actually done the, we woke up all our abs. We're going to now do the ab work in the full roll up. You can use again the wall as a reference to practice getting your ankles in this nice dorsiflexion. Most people tend to point their ankle and just flex their toes, but you want your whole ankle flexed if possible. So you can use the wall as a reference first. Inhale, reach up. Start to pull your back bones right off each other. Start to lift up, pull those ribs in, dive up and over a big exercise ball to stretch out your back. Relax your shoulders, inhale, stay here. Exhale, suck in the low abs, start to feel them working. Keep those, all of your abs working here the whole time. Grab your thighs, beginners, pause here, inhale. Exhale, you round forward and stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, more advanced, you roll all the way down. Drive in those low abs sequentially all the way down to the floor. Upper curve, inhale, open your upper back. Exhale, drive those abs in and round forward. Pause here, breathe. Use your low abs against your upper abs. The low abs are trying to send you down. The upper abs are trying to pull you forward. So work that action against each other to help you really sequentially peel up. One bone at a time. Use the abs rather than suddenly thrusting to come up. Bend, suck those abs in. Breathe, more advanced arms can stay by your ears. Today we're just gonna keep them here as we practice really getting the true strength here in the front 
rather than thrusting like this with our hip flexors. Right? You're not picking yourself up from your hips. You're pulling your abs in against each other to round. So my low abs are trying to fight back as my upper body is trying to come forward. Exhale, roll it back. Release the tension, inhale, exhale, drive. Now here's that hard part, right in those mid abs. Pull in, pull in, pull right in those low abs. Stay here, inhale, exhale. A little faster now that you have it. Inhale, prepare, exhale, peel up. Breathe in, exhale, roll. Peel up. Good. Last time, peel up. If you're tired, bend your knees a little bit. And let's fold all the way forward. Breathe and relax. And just to finish, because we did a lot of um, uh, hamstring stretching, we did a bit of quad, upper quad. Let's do the quad, the, we did the hip flexor stretch standing. So let's finish with a little quad stretch here. Grab your ankle, try to get your thighs together and tuck your tailbone down, opening up the front of your hip. Deep breathe. I hope you guys enjoy the online classes that Carlton is offering. We um, miss all of you guys very much and we're hoping that we can get back together soon and that your families are well, your pets and everybody, your friends. And release that, we're gonna lie down. If you have time, you can lie down a little longer. So we're just gonna take a moment to Shavasana here, rest your arms out to the side, close your eyes, and deep breathe. So I suggest you breathe in for four, and exhale for six. So inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, Three, two, one. And just see if you can pay attention to what's going on inside your body right now. If you have a couple of those exercises really helped you, sort of add them into your home program. As you stay there with your eyes closed, just breathe and relax for as long as you'd like. And I really appreciate you coming to the class or doing the class with me, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.